out there. It sounds like a song. Come on, people now. Something like that. Um, unscripted, unrehearsed. And really dumb. And really dumb. <laughs> we definitely don't have some of the lamest fuss jokes on the planet on the floor. Uh, we will spread these fuss jokes out over four videos because we're doing four videos on fuzzes that we know very little about. Thank you, JHS, for not putting any information into the, like, not on the paddle what it is and stuff. Well, the thing is, they're, 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 oh, they're the Legends series, meaning the Legends of Fuzz. And if you know about pedals, which I clearly don't, you know all these classic fuzzes and what they do and who's used them and all this. I, do, I don't, I really don't know. And the important thing, I don't care. Which brings us to the point of, I will not judge these on... Oh my God, it's a fuzz face. Oh my God, it's a bender. It's a, and then have all this, oh my God, these people use them. And oh my God, it's, it's it, the original is so expensive. And oh my God, and all this mystery and the fact that JHS replicated it beautifully, high end, not as expensive as the originals would be on the uh, used market. I will judge them purely on how do they sound? And are they fun to play and what sounds can we get? I'm not going to look at it and say, oh my god, this is a, a true replication of the Shinai Superfuzz. And then some of you might go like, oh my god, it's a Shinai Superfuzz, I always want one of these, because... Because... Mud Honey, The Smashing Pumpkins, Dennis Lord Jr., I... Fire Hose, The Who, I know, I, I, I know them, Queens of the... 
Stone Age. Stone Age, Fu Manchu and Cream used it. That's Wikipedia. I literally don't know. And again, I don't care. And some of you might, and that's fine. And if you don't, it's about the sounds. And I can already tell you this. The good, says the guy who doesn't like fuzzes. We will find out. We'll find so out. Fasten your seatbelt. So, okay. Vanessa, who is now my intern, for reasons that I cannot fathom, fa fathom, fa no, I can't do it, spent three days finding fuzz buns. Maybe we should say that um, some of those jokes, or most of them, are actually German. Or so. almost all of them. So the thing is, you won't get them. Okay? You just won't. Uh, in German, there are words like fast, which means uh, almost. Um, and stuff like this. So in German, we have the word fuss with an A-S quite a bit. That's all you need to know. Uh, I can't stop her. She's going to throw in the lamest puns ever. And you might have to be German to get them or just laugh anyway. Right? So I don't know anything about the Shinai Super Fuss, which apparently is from Japan from 1972. Um, and again, I don't care. This is a new version of it, and we're gonna play it and use it and do things with it. Uh, it's right on Vanessa. It's got an expand knob, which does something about amplification and then loud volume thing. And on the side, which you can't see, actually you can because we have side can see cameras. Um, there's a mode and a tone knob. Classic-y, oldified, clicky-switchies. Uh, it's of course well built and it's a GHS pedal. I do I need to say more? No, I don't. Uh, that's all I, I know. We're going into the Tone King Sky King for the cleans. And after that, we're gonna go into a mini plexi. We're gonna go into the Morgan, which is a Vox type thing. We're gonna go into the OS module over there, which is a tumbly kind of thing. And of course, we're gonna go into the Marshall JCM. And uh, the orange as well. And why are we sitting on these super fancy, snazzy new chairs? Because I bought them and they need to be tested. And they're comfy. Noodle think it's comfy. So it should be comfy. Yeah. We just unboxed this one and my freaking poodle scratched it up immediately. But what can we do? So we, we're using uh, this telly from McMull because I have it. It's the reason we like it. Do you use fuzz? with single calls. Do you use fuzz with humbuckers? Do you go in the front, in the back, uh, meaning neck or bridge? Primarily, a lot of times I tend to go into the bridge position and then above the 12th fret, but we're gonna test everything. So I'm gonna turn it on. You do your best fuzz licks, which, oh, wait a second. You don't have your best fuzz licks. <laughs> no. <laughs> because the only fuzz you ever played was digital, right? Right. So it's and it was not unfuzzbar. <lacht> oh. Un unfassbar. <lacht> ähm, du bringst mich ganz aus der Fassung. <lacht> ähm, so, she literally doesn't know what a fuss sounds like, because a digital fuss in some boss pedal, sorry boss, isn't really a fuss. So this is as classic as we can go. So give me cleans. <lacht> Um, that uh, Supreme thing sounds really cool when you actually play solo stuff and go a little bit higher. It almost goes into a uh, octave fuzz with a plus octave on top. So try to play some pentatonic stuff above the 12th fret and longer notes so that they can actually uh, go into that higher harmonic. So here we go. <laughs> 
You know I'm going to have to bitch about you not using your pinky there, right? Because that's... It's just, I'm, I'm just saying. You know? Uh, that's all. Go. Because so, me not playing my pinky brings him völlig aus der Fassung. <sighs> Sorry for that. <laughs> None of our international friends are going to get any of that stuff. But we don't care. We can translate. They're, the jokes are so bad, <laughs> they're also not funny in German. So, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to play with the expand thing. Uh, and we're going to try that on the higher stuff. It, it behaves very differently there, right? And some lower riffy stuff. So do, do both. Go back and forth while I twiddle with the expand knob. <laughs> there when you when you crank it up it goes into that octave thing and it actually gets kind of tame in the in the lower settings which is nice it is le tameable as they say in french uh, i'm gonna push the things on the side while you do riffy stuff i'm gonna put this roughly in the middle it's kind of tough to see where we are i think there's a little bit of a white knob there it's not a Let's read where it's set on stage kind of a pedal. It's a, uh, you know where it's set kind of a pedal. So, go. <laughs> like two utterly completely different fuzzes. I mean that ultra mid-scooped sound when you push the tone knob has very little to do with the other sound. Yeah. And that mode to me seems like it's going into a little bit of a less gain thing because I can actually when I roll back the expand almost get into overdrive -y territory. Yeah, right? I can I can I mean I can try to play in metal with that. Almost like, uh, but it's like really fuzzy, sludgy kind of stuff. Yeah, that stuff where you go. Boom. So like that's why it's like Queen of, Queens of the Stone Age stuff. Yeah, I, I wouldn't Kills. know. Yeah, I, I, that's I don't know. <laughs> that's why I know. You know, I'm like. Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh. I wouldn't. <laughs> Look, I, I'm a Bon Jovi kind of a guy. I don't think anyone in Bon Jovi ever used to fuzz. You know, that's my jam and that kind of stuff. And Nickelback. I don't think Nickelback. I just I said it. I said it. I don't think. <laughs> They use fuzz. What do I know? Um, give me that. I'm going to go and do a couple of amps. And also I want to see how it reacts to 
the volume knob, which many people say fuzzers should be used with. How overdrive we can get here. How do we hold this? Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> I thought it's like, you know, less gain, but it's uneven harmonics or something. So yeah, single notes or, or octaves. Because that... Not happening. to hit the right strings. And that's a different flavor with the volume rolled down. Let's see what happens when I push the tone thing to go into super crazy. Mood. I think those uh, sludgy people, queens of the stone age. some age, um, uh, they would probably like that because it's super blown up. It's definitely not for the super clean playing protrusion in you. No. <laughs> It's not a John Schofield kind of a sound. No. You know, stuff like this. We're gonna go into, I'm gonna pick a sound here. I'm gonna uh, put some delay on it and see how this can actually sing because it's actually so cool with that octave coming. was clearly queens of the ice age or what what, what? stone yeah that was them just balder um i really like that delay sound it really makes it like that's uh, from the ox which we're going through by the way with the 412 Greenberg loaded cab but you know that um okay and now we're going into the sv20h it's a it's a plexi just with 20 watts <laughs> That uh, that octavey thing, 
it's for 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 solos, especially for that Satriani kind of a thing where it's like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's really awesome. Um, no, fantastic. Fast, fascinating. Fascinating. That's no. Uh, and um, let's push this into the plexi thing. <laughs> be the first sound I pick. I like the other one more. Moving on into uh, the, the Morgan. I always forget that. Morgan AC20, which is already cranked a bit. I mean, a little bit. That's a boxy kind of a thing. I'm gonna roll this back a bit here, and without that. <laughs> Playing. I I don't know what I'm playing. That, that that has range and I could play that forever, but uh, it's Leslie's birthday today and we don't want to keep her here longer than three or four hours minimum. Thank you, Leslie. Love you. Um, we're moving on to the Dumbly OS module in the Synergy Syn50. Thick ass, clean, in case you have a Dumbly thing. Dave, you know who you are. Let's not do that. Actually, let's do that. Let's not. Because of monetizing, you know, that's, we have to, you know. That's thick as hell. I mean, that, that amp is thick anyway. That's craziness. Um. I love that octave thing. It's, um, it's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we do, ooh, the orange. On clean, Let, let's not go nuts here. Which sounds like so. No, it doesn't. Thank you. It's always leaner in the low end. Here, do you hear how the low end all of a sudden is, where is it? Gone. Orange. Fast gone. It's fast gone. The three Germans watching this think that's funny. No. And all the fatness of the pedal is gone. Thank you, Orange. Look, the orange is, is the orange and it's gonna sound like an orange. What amp do you play? Actually, an orange. Way to go. Just as a reminder, this was the Synergy OS module. You never know unless you do an AB, how yeah. different amps react to pedals. However, amps next to each other almost really sound the same. 
and you really get used to sounds really fast. So fast, fast. That wasn't even planned. No. <laughs> none of this no, is. none of it was planned, but that was not even on the list. Yeah. <laughs> I can make stupid puns that are not on the list. Um, and now we're gonna go into I don't know if this works. The JCM800, which is already pushed. <laughs> Is a JCM. King Sky King. So, Vanessa, what have we learned about the Shinai Superforce from 1972 from Japan that is now reincarnated in a much more affordable, uh, highly quality built version from JHS, which stands for three letters? It's really nice on the like on the Octavi solo soloing stuff. It really goes with delay. If I was going to go for that Octavia Fuzz, it's great because, I mean, it doesn't do, tr it doesn't track because it doesn't have to. It just, sometimes when you play higher, it immediately goes into those sounds and you can, of course, control that with the expand knob a little bit and, you know, dial that out. It's blown up. That's what a fuzz does. Saying, oh, this fuzz sounds good is almost... Um, as you pointed out the other day, almost stupid because they all destroy your sound. Just some destroy it beautifully and some destroy it and it sounds destroyed. In your opinion, but I think it's like a really uh, subjective thing. No, 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 it's not. What I think <laughs> is the rule. <laughs> no, I wear gold. I'm the king. No, no, of course you play in... It, so many people will play an orange, put a fuzz in it, blow it up, and that's their sound. For me, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't push that tone knob ever. But that, that lead sound? I would I mean, go I, for that. I also play cleans on the neck pickup, so I'm, I'm dumb anyway, so. You play cleans on the neck pickup, you mean the bridge pickup. Yeah. You said no. neck. But I, many people do that, I wouldn't. I, I go, I, bridge pickup for me and clean is too, but you know, then again, what do I know? More, more, most of all, what do you know, really? I don't know anything. Um, can you believe that this was a paid-for video? Yes, JHS decided to give us money to do what we're doing. I don't know. Um, thanks, JHS, for that. Hopefully, you learned something. We didn't. We just know we like the Octave thing. It's fun. It's... You get to love it, Ratzfatz. None of these are funny. No. No. That's why we're doing it. Um, thanks, Vanessa. Thanks, Leslie. Links below. Animals at the end. I went astray But I could have become someday Father, have I lost my way?